one of these eight laps. We are on lap nine, but that is not a two-second advantage anymore. Is he on borrowed time? Number 461, Roman Fevre. He would still be on the podium here, but he would lose second to uh, Arno Tonus if Geiser finds his way past, because he will lose those three vital points. He will drop down to 38, and again, that Honda has some serious straight-line speed from point to point, just like the old HRC days of old in the mid-80s when uh, Honda won 10 titles in a row. Fevre will do his best to stay on the wheel of Geiser, though, but not directly behind it. Geiser looks to his left, Fevre's on his right. These two had a run down to the finish line here in 2016, didn't they? Three tenths separate the Honda from the Yamaha. Geiser from Fevre. Tonus is still behind them, about a second and a half further back. Tonus will still believe that he can win this potentially as well. But as it stands right now, Geiser looking at 50 points. Here's how he did it. He was about 10 bike lengths back coming out of the turn. What's this? Easy up the inside. Fevre thought about turning up the inside. He got that bit right. But Geiser just came back across. No wonder it's all smiles down there in HRC Garage. And already starting to pull clear now. First split, almost identical, 16-3 for Geiser.